three camp counselors suspended in one New Jersey town after a questionable punishment left a mom in rage. She posted on Facebook claiming that her son and other children were forced to sit on hot blacktop until their hands burned. The Ocean County Prosecutor's Office is now investigating. New Jersey reporter Tony Yates has the story from Tom's River. This picture is being met with outrage across social media, posted by a family too angry to speak on camera, but this child's neighbors did. The child attended a Tom's River City camp off Bailey Road. The mother says in her Facebook post that her son and other children were forced by camp counselors to sit outside on hot asphalt as punishment for leaving a mess in an art room, and that when the kids complained that the ground was too hot, Counselors made them sit longer that the kids sat on their hands trying to keep their legs from searing. Look at this child's fingertips. As a mom, I, I think if I would have been in that situation, I would have lost my mind. Tom's River officials say three counselors were immediately and indefinitely suspended. A later statement from the Ocean County Prosecutor's Office's Special Victims Unit concluded after an immediate investigation at this time, this matter does not appear to be criminal in nature as there was no criminal intent associated with the actions of the camp counselors. This matter has been referred back to the Division of Child Permanency and Protection's Institutional Abuse Unit for whatever action they deem appropriate. Samantha and Jake are the child's neighbors. You're leaving your kid behind and you want to trust the parent or adult there that's protecting your kid or watching your kid. I think that they, the people that did it were very wrong. We placed a thermometer strip across asphalt just a few yards from where the mother says her son was forced to sit. Green shows the temperature. That strip had to cool back down to even register 104. The township is calling this an isolated and unfortunate incident in what has become an exceptional youth program.